I was lucky enough to stumble upon Frugal Filmmakers Rig. Had a great time shooting uh, Nathan's Wild Ride, you can see it on my YouTube channel, uh, using this rig from the Frugal Filmmaker. It's a nice rig, it lets you shoot um, low level so you can grab it and go underneath, kind of lunchbox style, and get these nice low angle shots for kids and toddlers and stuff, good chase shots. However, you know, it's a great take on the big rig, but there are some drawbacks because you can only use it with the, with the flip out screen. There's no real eye level way to use this rig. Uh, and it wasn't designed for that. And there's no shoulder support either. So uh, I wanted to try to improve on this a little bit design and give you something that had uh, some more flexibility, had a little bit less fatigue resistance and uh, could more importantly support my new favorite camera, which is the GH2. So here it is. This is my new uh, road bike rig. And I call it the road bike rig because it's designed in principle like a road bike. It has three grips, actually at least three grips, four actually, uh, that you can hold on to, five if you count the shoulder rest. And the nice thing about that is that you have multiple positions one for fatigue, or two if you want to take another shooting position. And again, since the goal was flexibility, uh, the camera has, uh, the rig has the ability to shoot eye level, flip out the screen, use the shoulder stock here, and you can shoot shoulder level, grab onto one of the grips down here, and you can shoot waist level also. So you can use this for multiple types of shots. Uh, here's some sample footage of the GH2 at full out at 280. And you can see, even shooting full out, um, shoulder mounted, it's really stable. And one of the reasons why I designed this upper grip here was so that I can manual focus while I am shooting, which is really nice with either hand without really disturbing the camera much. And we can also take on whatever grip is handy or convenient, just like on a road bike, whenever you get tired of a grip, you can easily change it. We've also built a chest bar into it to kind of get support from the chest. Obviously the shoulder padding. And the whole thing, like the Frugal Filmmakers rig, is built out of PVC pipe. Uh, just the several sections of PVC pipe, all from the Home Depot. Road bike grip, uh, black spray paint, and a Manfrotto quick release. Uh, this isn't probably my quick release of choice, but is what I had available in my garage the number of quick releases you can use. Drill your 3 8 or quarter inch hole through the top here and you can go ahead and uh, put the quick release of your choice on there. Snap your camera on and you're off to the races. Thanks so much to everyone who's come before me and contributed all these neat rigs. I thought I'd share one of my own. I hope you have a great time building it. See you soon. Thanks. Here's what you'll need to get started. Channel lock pliers, a pipe cutter, a sharpie and a ruler, flathead screwdriver, fender washers, a quarter inch bolt, that's an inch and a half long, a rubber washer, a Ryobi power drill, PVC cement, doesn't matter which kind, foam pipe insulation. If you're going to paint it, you'll want mineral spirits, goo gone to clean off the stickers from the pipe sandpaper and some universal spray paint that works on plastics. In half inch PVC you'll need two 45 degree elbows, eight 90 degree elbows, two four-way slips, three three-way slips. You'll want a quick release system. I use the Manfrotto 323 pictured here, though you'll probably want one that's a little bit more secure, especially if you're going to use a larger camera. Using your trusty PVC cutter, you're going to cut two six and three eighths inch pieces, four four and a half inch pieces, two six inch pieces, two seven inch pieces, and seven one and a half inch pieces. To start with, go ahead and take two middle pieces, like so, and you're gonna go ahead and take these four-way slips and add a connector piece in the middle. Glue these two together using your PVC cement. Okay, these seem to be tight on their own and then drill your hole just off to the side of the seam. I know in the photograph it shows it in the middle, but I've found that it's just a little bit better if you do it a quarter inch off. Go ahead and take two more connector pieces 
and bond them to the sides like so along with two corner pieces here and you want to make sure before you bond them to make sure that they are square everything is square mark it and then cement it together once you've gotten those two corner pieces we're going to go ahead and add our two C pieces. These are the ones that are six inches long. Go ahead and insert those. All these long pieces, you wanna make sure they go in exactly three quarters of an inch in. You can pre-mark that like so. And now let's add our two T's here and here. Again, mark it up and square it up before you cement. Make sure that every joint is square before you cement it. Once you bond it, with that PVC cement, that's it, point of no return. Now let's go ahead and add our B pieces. I'll add a B piece here. 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 And here. And that will go ahead and square it up and that goes ahead and squares it up nicely. They should all go in the exact same way and this should be parallel to the table when you're done. You know, so it makes it perfectly level. It should make a perfectly level table. Next, we're gonna do, we're gonna set this aside and do our handlebars for the front. So I'm gonna grab two corners and an A piece. Make sure they go in three quarters of an inch. Level it, glue it. Repeat again, two corners, an A piece, three quarters of the way in each. Level it, and then bond it. Make sure these things should be the same length when they are done. They should be the same length, and, and there we go. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the chest bar. So we're going to go ahead and get the C piece here, attach this here, and then attach this here. Make sure that it is the same width as this here. Once you verified it's the same width, go ahead and add your two connect glue in two connector pieces. Of course, glue these two things together and then go ahead and insert them in this way. Once you have them inserted, once you have that chest bar inserted, then go ahead and make your tail piece. Your tail piece will consist of one L 145 degree piece. Add that in, add the other 45 degree piece, like so to form a little off angle little wave shape. Go ahead and add this bar to the front, this little connector to the head, and then this little guy to the tail. And then plug this in, and you're done.